Hey, it's Keith, and I'm excited today to show you this brand new 2021 41-foot regular. First off, let's start up here at the front of this boat. I'm really excited to see how much big space room we have in the 41-foot boat. This thing is actually longer than 41 foot in the boat. That's 41 foot of usable space. Let me start by showing you this big sunbed layout area up here. We have the flip-up backrest so you can hang right up here and chill with all your friends and your family, the girls or whoever the family can lay out on this. And this is actually a table and a sunbed. It's an electric actuated motor. So you simply have a little button right here to the side. We will bring that table all the way up to table height and we can bring it all the way down. It is recessed into the floor. So when you pull that cushion off, you can go completely down the floor and it's nice and smooth. There's nothing to stomp your toe on or trip on as you're walking forward and rear on this boat with this table. When you remove the cushions up here, you'll see everything is non-skid. So it's easy to jump on the side, fish and cast and catch that big old fish. When you catch that big fish, where are you going to put it? Right here, 624 quart fish box in the floor, insulated, illuminated, macerated, so big I could hide myself right in here and close myself up and go. So you can put your big catch in there. It goes all the way back that direction. Plus it has rod storage in here. Only shoot your short rods, but your short rods you can store in here and lock and lock them in here if you're leaving the boat at a marina. If we go all the way forward, we'll see our windless anchor locker. Inside this windless anchor locker, you'll get over 125 foot of chain, your windless and your anchor, plus two great features here that you may not see on some other boats. One is we have the remote to do your windlass. So not only can you do your windlass, you got your remote to operate it right up here so you're not getting your fingers down in here to operate. Plus you can operate from the helm station, operate when you're in there. Notice how all these shocks, everything will hold up here and stay in here. And on top of that, the second great feature is a freshwater flush right up here. So if you want to rinse off that chain as it's coming up, you can rinse it off, keeping everything clean inside your boat. Now, if you guys are anything like my family, I'm at the helm station. My wife and son are sitting up front relaxing when we're out in the boat. One of the great things I love about this boat is you have a USB port right under here to charge. So my son can sit on his tablet and play there. My wife can charge her phone once she's sitting up here, plus some great cup holders and this nice integrated backrest. So it's a great way to enjoy the afternoon. Plus you have that big forward shade. So if you pull up on the sandbar or you hang out, you can pull the shade out. It takes about two minutes to set that up. You got your charging stations right up front. You got your cup holders. You got this nice sealed leather, this great upholstery. It's a great afternoon relaxing with you and your family on this boat. Now, I told you that my wife and son love the time right up front when we're sitting still, hanging out in the sandbar. When you're up and running, this is the place they like to be right here. Nice and comfortable, this lounge sitter up here, plus this right here holds them in. I feel very comfortable when my son's sitting up here. I'm at the helm station. It's keeping him in the boat with these nice wide pads. Once again, this is that great seal leather upholstery. You feel how nice and soft and supple it is. It is resistant to mold and mildew and other things. Plus the other great part of this Chase Lounger seat is there's an ice box filled right here in the front. So you can have nice ice cold drinks up in the front when you're hanging out, socializing and enjoying the front of your boat. As we're making our way along the side of the boat back to the helm station, you'll notice the handrail is ergonomically shaped. You have lots of space in here. The combing pads go all the way back and this big heavy duty door going down into the cabin. And matter of fact, now it's time for me to show you all the cool things in the new 2021 cabin of the 41. Down here in the cabin, one of the first things you may notice is how light and airy everything is. Some of the interior updates that you would notice is these white driftwood panels. They have a cherry driftwood dining table. Check out these gray onyx Corian countertop solid pieces and the rich seashell Chiliwich walls. You'll see there's a Blu-ray player in here, 110 volt, 32 inch TV and Dolby digital surround sound. This is a place that you could entertain and enjoy stuff plus plenty of room for two full adults to lay down in this bed and spend the night in here. 
Here we are at the helm station of the new 2021-41, and I'm joined by Ramsey Skinner of our customer service department. Ramsey, you got a ton of experience on boats uh, out there. Uh, tell me, when you got on this new 2021-41, what were some of the things that just jumped out at you to begin with? Well, Keith, first of all, it's a beast of a boat anyway. You got the, you got your Fusion radio, which is a top of the line radio integrated into the garment. Yeah, and one thing I love about this Fusion stereo, not only is it integrated here, yeah. we have two subwoofers on here, we have two amps that are come standard on this boat, plus 10 speakers like ones right up here behind your head. Yeah. They, they light up, and this is a great sounding system, man. You can really rock the neighborhood at the marina with this. Yeah, absolutely. What else do you like here? The dash is laid out for you right here while you're driving the boat. Everything's labeled, the switches are all flush and pretty and gasketed, no leaks. Yeah, and, and I love the fact that the engineering team at Regulator took the time to purposely lay these out in a way that made sense that was very user friendly. And they are labeled extremely well and they're grouped where you would need them. So it does make it very easy. And when you look at them, they're now integrated into this black panel on here. So, so what else do you find out here? We've got all kinds of stuff. Well, you got your new Yamaha controls here and your new joystick for your Hellmaster, which is real sleek looking. Yep, this one comes standard, the 41 comes standard right. with the Hellmaster EX system. The EX system, of course, is going to have the joystick control that we've had before, a little bit different joystick and some additional controls on it. Autopilot now is integrated right into the Yamaha, into the screen, and on the autopilot, we can do an assortment of things. We can hold our heading, we can change course, we can track. Uh, on there, we can do some pattern steer. And one of the things that you and I were talking about earlier mm -hmm. in the pattern steer, when you're off here in North Carolina, trying to get on that big tuna bite, there's, there's a big, really underground mountain out, out in the water that you're under there. And you're always, I found myself in the past, just trying to stay on target and do that. Now this has an ever expanding circle. So what you do, you get there and it just goes and goes and gets you right on the boat, That's on the right. bite. So then you and I and folks can really worry about fishing yep. and let the boat take you right to the same spot. Right here, you can, you can change it one degree, two degree, either way, quarter starboard. Ramsey, outside these great new Yamaha EX system, what's some of the other things that really jumped out to you on this boat? Well, the Sea Keeper, of course. It's a heck of a machine and it's standard on the 41 and it's integrated into your Garmin so you can control it right here. All your options, everything is right here. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I tell you, if you haven't been on a boat with Seakeeper yet, you should definitely try it because Seakeeper will take the rock and roll out of the boat. For all those people that are uh, at the edge of getting seasick and stuff, this solves the problem that way. And plus getting seasick on there uh, on hot days, nothing quite better than a oh, air yeah. conditioned hem station yeah, right, right here. here at the helm, yep. And as we're out shooting today, this video, this would be a great thing for us to stay nice and cool. Before we leave the helm station, I want to point out, you have the standing feature like we see Ramsey doing here. We have bolsters that come down and be nice, comfortable to set up in. And the other great thing is each chair has its own footrest. So if Ramsey or the, or the captain wants to stand and I want to sit, not a problem. We each have our own footrest. We can do it either way. Now, Ramsey, I'm going to leave you up here and let you steer us along. I'm going to head back to the cockpit because that's where we catch all the fish. Got it. Now I know I'm in the Albemarle Sound shooting this video, but as I was sitting here, I was having these visions of sitting out in the open ocean, my flat lines out there, my outriggers. This would be the spot to watch everything and watch the action. So that when the action happened, I could see him tail walk right across the back. Great place to watch things right here. This cockpit is a huge cockpit in the 41. Remember this 41 foot boat in the water with engine and everything is nearly 47 foot long. There is the grill and the sink in the electric actuator that comes out of the mezzanine seat there. There's also tons of storage down here. We have drawers and cabinets full of Plano boxes, so you still have place to store stuff. Further back here is the big bilge area. Notice how easy that comes right on up. It'll stay up for you. We have the Onan generator, and there's lots of space. I could get down there and work, and everything is labeled and nice and neat for you here. As we come down the starboard side of the boat, we'll find our dive door along this side. Flips open and there, integrated ladder right below us. Also of note is the power plugs are on our starboard side midship. And all the way in the back is our shower and our freshwater engine flush here on the starboard side. Along the back, there are two live wells with the bait pacifying blue on the inside. Plus the middle box is one big box with two lids for all your fish right in there. As you move across the back, 
you have the big flip down seat in the back. It's great for sitting on the ride out or if you're hanging out at the marina, but when you get ready to fish, it's flush mounted in there and it's out of your cockpit space to bring those big fish into the boat. Plus when I'm back here, you can be nice and sunny and open, plenty of room to cast and do whatever, and there's an automatic sure shade that comes standard on this boat. One of the things I love about our boats is this sure shade. On the 41, it comes standard. Have it any color you want, to match your boat, a plain white, whatever you like. Create some nice shading here, a nice place to sit and enjoy some time up under the sure shade. Plus, take note, new rigid lights up here. Also got a rigid light bar that goes across the top for night usage. It'll light up the entire area around you. It's low profile and looks really nice. The other thing that is new this year are the actuated antennas and uh, running lights up top. Hit a button on your helm station, those go up and down. You don't have to climb on the gunnels and reach up there and manually put them up and down anymore. For those people who are especially trailering boats or going up under short bridges or things along those lines, those are phenomenal to use. Touch a button up and down on your antennas. Another standard item on the Regulator 41 is the GS500 Taco Outriggers. Easy to use, standard on the boat, and it's a huge upgrade from past years on the 41. The Regulator 41 comes with 1,700 horsepower, quad Yamaha 425s. These are the leading motors in the marine industry, and this boat will do nearly 65 miles an hour, and you can do that in rough seas in a boat that weighs over 21,000 pounds. Thank you for joining me on the walkthrough video. If you'd like more information about Regulator, visit regulatormarine.com. Even there, you can build your own Regulator 41 on the boat builder. I hope to see you out in the water on your very own Regulator 41.